Well, well, well. I have no makeup on today. Just like very unready look. Hi guys, I'm Jenny. How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a really, really long time. It's been like about a month since I've last filmed or posted a video, actually. Let me quickly explain to you why. Well, the first week I was, it was Chinese Lunar New Year, so I had to go back to my, well, not really had to, like I was really happy to, and my family went back to my grandparents' house for Chinese New Year, and I was really happy because I got to see all my cousins, and it was a really, really great time. My aunt and uncle that lives in Vienna came back too. But right after that, I caught the flu. So that's like one week before semester started, I caught the flu. I had a, I had a high fever. I was like throwing up and things were like really crazy and I was not feeling the best so I did not film that week either. After I got the flu, like about a week after I got the flu, I was still coughing like crazy and I couldn't go to classes because my coughing was like really really disturbing for other classmates so I didn't go to my German class because I wasn't feeling well and I was like coughing like crazy. The first week of semester started. The first week of school was always like really chaotic because we have to, we have to like pick classes and everything and it's just a really big annoying thing that I have to get through and I was kind of busy all over the place. I was like begging teachers to take me in this class and whatnot. After that, after all the coughing and like the um, start of semester chaos, I lost my voice because I was speaking so much and then my, maybe because of coughing, my um, uh, voice just went out. I couldn't really speak for, for a few days and even till now I don't think my voice has fully recovered yet. My voice sounds a bit deeper than usual. So, excuse that. Uh, today is going to be a favorites video. I know it's already almost halfway through March already, but I did prepare a video of all the things that I want to share with you, all my favorite things that I liked using, my favorite things that I like using, all the things that I enjoyed using in February, and I do want to share that with you, so I'm gonna get right to it. And also, I am facing the window, so lighting may change ugh, depending on the clouds and the sun moving around. So excuse that too, I'm sorry. This month I did not really get new cosmetic or beauty stuff. You know, I don't really like putting on makeup because it is really hot and humid in Kaohsiung. Most of the days I just like rush out. Oh, I do put sunscreen on most of the days, but I don't really put a lot of makeup on because it's very very hot and humid in the summer where I live. I did get a new, this is my first, I did get an eyelash curler from Muji. Muji? Muji. Yes. I'll use it well. Quickly moving on to the food section because I have another thing from Muji that I bought and I did enjoy eating this month, last month. I got this mini ramen thing from Muji and it looks like this. Well, this is the pack. I opened this already. And it looks like this, a little square cube of ramen. You can eat it raw or you can cook it, which is very convenient. These cook super fast, so I got, that was the kimchi version, uh, kimchi flavor. And this is the chicken flavor, I haven't opened it, I haven't tried this yet. It's a lot like, you know, instant ramen, but it's very fast, it cooks very fast. Like two, you can um, run it down with boiling water for two minutes, you can eat it. And it's also very, like a small pro 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 proportion, pro what? It's also a very small proportion, so a small, no, it's also a very small portion. So like, if you don't want to eat a lot for um, when you're hungry late at night, you don't want to eat a lot, you can do, you can eat that. You can crack an egg into it also, add anything you like really. Yeah, it cooks super fast, so like, don't cook it for too long. I usually cook it for like one minute, a little bit more than one minute, and then I crack an egg, and that's the end of it. Or else the noodles will get mushy as in like, they break easily, which is not, no. Moving on into the music category, I feel like I have a lot to share with you about music because I do listen to a lot of different kinds. Oh, I do listen to a lot of music, but I wouldn't say a lot of different kinds because, yeah, I'm not an expert in music anyway. I do love the Spotify Discovery weekly um, feature. It does give me pretty good options of songs I haven't heard of before. This month, I have one two three four five five songs that i want to share that is a lot i know i feel like music is a big part of can be a big part of a person's life because like i live alone and when i come home i don't really want to feel too lonely sometimes so i turn on music so the house doesn't feel too quiet these are some of my recommendations starting with korean songs as usual this month i have three korean songs i'm gonna start with the first one it is a song by a group called standing egg and it is called this this song has two versions on Spotify, one Korean version and one English version. There's, they are the same thing, but 
they have different titles. One of them has a Korean title, the other has an English title. The Korean, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not a Korean expert. I did not learn Korean properly. It's called Shigani Daraso, I think. I'm not really sure. The English version, I think they just kind of translate it it to English as how you would say it in Korean so it's called si gani da ra so like you know how they write Korean in English letters but they're the same song they just have like different titles for some reason I don't know why then there is a song by Poa which is really really good she has a song I think it's for like a TV drama original soundtrack it's called tonight I don't know the Korean title to it but on Spotify it's called tonight they're both really like chill songs it's kind of those soft songs that gives off a really relaxing vibe these are two really great songs i'm gonna save the last korean song till later and then moving on we have fresh eyes by andy grammar this song has one of the brightest melodies rhythms and like happy vibes you could ask for in a song it's very romantic it's very cute it's just a a good feeling song like you listen to it and you instantly feel really really good that's like probably my favorite in january uh, in february favorite song and then there's a song by eden called end credits which is a song that i came across on the internet i was listening to a playlist it's like a chill mix like a chill music mix i it's not the kind of song that i would us usually enjoy but i did like this one very very last song that i want to introduce is a song by 17 they came back earlier in february which is in the k-pop world considered as a pretty long time ago i think it's very it's a repackaged album of their second album and this album is called a director's cut special album and they have like five new songs four new songs in there they're all really really great i feel like i should use really really less often because i do say that a lot i like a song in there called thinking about you it's a very upbeat bright song too as well the title song for the director's cut album is thanks that is also very nice i think i'm most fascinated by their choreography of the dances how can they be so like synchronized moving on to the movie category this month i didn't really get to see a lot of movies in february but i did went to see a movie at the beginning of march at the very very beginning of march it was ladybird and i i don't know this movie is like objectively speaking i think that this movie is very authentic it's very it's not a complicated plot it doesn't have a complicated plot it's very simple it's very raw and it's also very true to like what would really happen in reality it left me in this post movie shock for for like two hours after i came back from the movies i was like thinking about these things and feelings i had after i watched that movie because it wasn't like instantly like oh i love it it has such a cool plot like the actors and actresses are, are like so cool it's not like that it's more like the things that was discussed and talked about in the movie was your relationship with your family i would recommend it to you i mean i, I still don't really know how i really feel about the movie i only know that i kind of sort of like it a lot it's that kind of movie that gets you thinking about your own life if you're having a hard time communicating with your parents or like you have some kind of misunderstanding with your friends and like you're not feeling very happy i think this movie helps a lot i think that is very true to heart it's not like a lot of other movies where they add in different lines or plots to make the movie seem more exciting ladybird just has this raw authentic simple feeling to it that i genuinely recommend you go see it if you haven't yet oh yeah and it also talks a lot about self-confidence i think sasha ronan did a very very good job of um, playing the part of ladybird which is uh, her name is christine she has that confidence that nobody can take away from her which is something that i'm working on I mean, I feel like everybody's working on that confidence with herself or himself. Last things that I want to share with you is a thing of my choice. You know how I love my kitchenware and my homeware, even though I don't have a kitchen. I got this really, really adorable Moomin cup. Oh my God. Yes. How cute is this? Well, I didn't really buy this. I got it. And it comes with a very cute wooden spoon. I opened this the other day and I think I filmed it. So I might insert a clip here. And also it comes with this super, super cute coaster. So it goes like this. It's also moving. Last but not least, this is a plate that I got in... Whoa. 
whoops i started using this in february because i just got it it's so cute look at that look how cute oh my god i not only know the chinese for this person she is called shawanzi how cute is this she is a japanese character you know how i've been like wanting to get a bigger plate to eat my toast on this is the perfect plate that will be the end of my february favorites video and i hope you enjoyed it i know i might seem like a little unnatural today because i haven't filmed for like a month and sometimes if i haven't filmed for that long i act really weird or i talk really weird or my facial expressions are really weird if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can comment below you can subscribe for more videos from me and i will see you next week with a chinese video yes we're back bye I can fly.